Re, what's happening? What's happening, my boy? <laughs> Can't believe you got big Re on gym bars. Welcome, oh, man. Come on, man. Well How's over you. Yeah, good, man. Good, good, good. How'd you get in today? Drove. Drove, yeah. <laughs> what's happening? Man? I see you doing well with the with the fighting and what is it? Kick, kickboxing, you doing? K one and Muay Thai. Do you know what? I've seen, been seeing some kicks that you've been doing. Oh, Brother, how do you even firm one of them kicks? Oh, you don't. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> do you know what? I'm gonna let you. Do one on me, but don't do it hard. <laughs> uh, first of all, I'd like to tell, uh, tell everyone where you're from. Um, so, Rion, um, aka The Beast. Um, grew up in Fort Neath. Um, yeah, man, K1, a Muay Thai fighter, British, European, and world ISK champion. Um, yeah, well, hey, that's, that's some serious titles right there, you know? Oh, boy. What was it like growing up in Fort Neath? Was there like a lot of gang activity? You know what, um, yeah, like, so growing up weren't too bad, it was, it was, it was all right. Um, kind of left to my own devices a lot. Um, obviously it was just my mum, so she was obviously trying to work and obviously provide and, you know, do, do better for me than my older siblings obviously um, had. Um, so yeah, I was just out and about and then I think from about 12, 13 is kind of, when I was more involved, you know what I'm saying, just linking up with people then. Yeah? Yeah. So what, what sort of stuff would you be like getting up to? As a, as a young teenager, what, what sort of stuff would you, you know get up to? It all started, like, I think mainly it was like, obviously just smoking weed and whatever, like being out and then shutting weed or dealing, like, doing bits. Then obviously you just slowly progress from there, innit? Like, yeah? Yeah. Well, um, was you ever like nicking mopeds and stuff like that? Yeah, like more so, do you know what the mopeds and that was more when I used to come and link my cousins and that over Fulham, yeah? yeah. Um, a lot of my family from over West London. And they were more into that, into that. A couple of my pals were into that shoot robbers and all that. It weren't really my thing. Yeah. Um, and then again, obviously being a tutor, I was all about it, so. Um, them lot was more into licking cars and yeah, all that from young, innit? But then my thing more started from like gubbies. What do you mean by gubbies? So like, um, you talking like cash and transits yeah, and that? Yeah, G4s and, and yeah, well, I know. Unfortunately. <laughs> I know all about them, mate. <laughs> yeah, I know you do. So what, have you, have you had any like stints in prison? Like done any yeah. young offenders or anything? Um, so I had my first, my first sentence I got when I was 17, when I was 17, I had a firearms charge. Um, firearm charge at 17? Yeah, I was 17, just turning 18, um, caught a firearm charge. Um, so 07, I was away, um, come home, I got a touch, I thought I was going to get a mandatory, ended up getting a 2D1, and then around the time as well, it was just like, they're throwing out these um, early releases and that. Mm. So I, but I had no understanding of the system or yeah, how yeah. things work. To me, it was just like, a, um, it was just like linking the man. It was just like being on ends. Because like, anybody knows 07 to 08, everyone that was from ends was just away, in it? So what, what prisons did you do? Um, at that time, I done high down and then only I come home. Do some across there, and then 08 come home, and my brother was like, "Listen, you got a touch. Don't think mm. that's gonna be." I was like, "Yeah, of course, you know it all." Yeah. Yeah, 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 And then back, back on the roads flying, and then I caught a bigger case. Then I ended up getting nine years. Um, that was the end of 08, and then. That took me to like oh thirteen, uh, that sentence. So that was um for robbery, duh. and then yeah, that was a big lesson in that one. Yeah. And then I think oh ten or eleven on that sentence, I got introduced to DCAT. Blue man, you've done a lot of bird, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you've done a lot of bird. Um, yeah. Um, unfortunately, but. At the same time, it saved me. I'm not gonna lie. Like 100, I think it was a um, a blessing for me to 
to have these sit downs. And then um, I went decat. I remember my older cousin was telling me, well, come, come coldly at the time. Yeah. Boom, did, you know, come here. I was in Portland, so I done, I done felt in Portland. Um, and then at yeah, Portland at that time, it was like anybody that's been in Portland knows that's a rough, I've been there, actually done Portland 2005 yeah. and six. That is a, that's the roughest prison I've ever been as right. a YO. So in Portland, they were trying to ghost us. Like, and to get kicked out of Portland, it, it's not... You, yeah, it takes a lot, isn't it? Like, yeah. To, so, and I remember the SO come to me. Um, like, look, um, basically hold it down, and your next move is to uh, HMP prison. From obviously from YO, um, that will get you back to closer to London. Yeah. And then times obviously, because Portland was a mission, you know. Well, it was a trek. I think I was getting visits like once a month or something. Do you know like, what? They've got the biggest seagulls. I wow. remember, do you remember on the way to education how big the seagulls were? But uh, listen. They were like missiles coming yeah. through the air. Well, they, just, they, was, they, was, they was robbing man's kit. Like certain man, I said. <laughs> Them seagulls were doing a lot, yeah. innit? Yeah, yeah. All we need to try to get the trolley for lunch and that. Yeah. Them, bro, them things are moving like they're going to move to everyone. I, me- I remember on the way to education, uh, there's a big fella, I think it's called Arrow. Hey, Arrow, if you're watching this year, on the way to education, <laughs> the seagulls come over, he's done a poo right on his back. <laughs> But I didn't tell him, innit? I let him get a little bit further near to education before I said he got pooed on. Uh, he was fuming. He walked all the way back to the wing, raged. Hey, uh, listen. Yeah, it was wrecky still. Did you have any, uh, any, any fights or any altercations in prison? Yeah, but like... What was that over look. as well? Huh? What would it have been over like? Do you know what? I think um, Portland, more so like Wyo. Wyo, you kind of get into anything for anything, can it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of a lot of my altercations and my problems with people always, I would say eighty percent, is being taken up other people's argument. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So defending other people or whatever. Um, yeah, like, like Portland. Portland was, yeah, we got, yeah, we was getting busy in Portland. Yeah, because obviously you're a big lad. I seen when you come out of DCAT how big he yeah. was. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. And then, yeah. So it been proper. Proper sticky for a few people, and I suppose. Yeah, um, even for myself, to be honest, I think um, I was home four weeks, got into a, uh, got into a bit of a, a, a altercation. Mm. Again, if I'm honest, like my mindset at the time, the way I was conducting myself, got into a situation, ended up getting stabbed up, or stabbed wow. pretty bad. Um, and where, where was that? I got stabbed in my stomach. That was in wireless. In I don't know. Yeah, so actually, yeah. I actually seen a scar. Can we can yeah. we show it? Can we see it? Yeah. So I've got. So I've got down. It's his chance to show off his abs. <laughs> no, I'm that's, overweight. That's actually a big scar, man. Yeah. And then and down the well. side, yeah. So, but yeah, so um, that kind of put me out of the game. I was literally home for like four weeks, um, and probation was actually trying to recall me for, for being stabbed. Yeah, for being stabbed because they're thinking obviously I'm active or whatever. But luckily, at the time, my probation officer, he was all right. But the management was, were, um, you know, typical probation, isn't it? I hear that. But then um, I ended up getting recalled again anyway, later down, um, caught another case, um, which was a bit of a shit one because um, I didn't actually do anything for what I got charged for. And obviously, those that was, that was in the situation know that the, the, ins ins and the ins and outs of it, but basically, um, yeah, I ended up taking taking a case um, and got got recalled, and 014 to 017, I was sitting sitting back down in it. Is that where you met me? That's when I met Big Lou. You got me. Come on, we used to, we used yeah. to do some crazy workouts together, but yeah. he was like, he was more into your circuits. Yeah, I, could, I couldn't really keep up. No, you but the, weight, the weights, I was absolutely yeah. fine with, but he used to do a mad circuit. So shout out Sibs, man. Yeah, big up Sibs. Big up Sibs. Yeah. Coffee. You, you know what I'm saying? You look really, <laughs> to, you look really used to get on my nerves. Yeah, yeah. Coffee. Yeah, <laughs> like every day, these like, Lou, you want a coffee? <laughs> but, I just look at them. But trust me, we had, some, we had some funny times in there as well. 100%. Like, Lou used to like cook food and put people's food in like yeah wait we need to wait 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 you just, guy, you, you just bought something <laughs> up yeah you've just bought something up was what is meant to it's meant to, do you know what this story is meant to stay in high down uh, 
So every Wednesday, we used to have cooking club because we were gym all these. Yeah. So like one week, uh, Real might cook. One week, Sibs <laughs> a cook. One week, I cook. On this occasion, it was my turn to cook with, what is it, mackerel and pasta or something? Yeah, the pasta, yeah, the pasta. You know when, um, obviously, I'm cooking up now, I'm serving everyone's food. Someone's trying to, my friend here is trying to be really helpful, so he's doing the pasta over here. He's actually dropped someone's pasta on the floor. What's his name? Well, I don't know. I don't he's know. For, probably, the purpose of the, for the purpose of the recording. No comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> so anyway, I'm dishing up. Rion's helping the pasta. He's dropped the pasta on the floor for the other gym all He's probably watching this as well, you know. Oh. The food's actually tasting really good. He's not surprised because it actually tastes good. Yeah, to be fair, you pulled out of the bag this day as well. Oh, mate, anyway, the pasta has gone on the floor in the, in the gym, in the gym <laughs> changing rooms. Rion's looked at me with a smile on his face and we just looked at each other. We started scooping the pasta back up, putting it back in the fella's pot. I remember those little bits of fluff oh, from people's bro. socks. Oh, it was fuck. He yeah. ate all of it, you know. But he banged it down still. That, that was pretty tasty. To be fair, I don't blame him. I wouldn't have wasted it. He didn't know it was on the floor. Yeah, but... <laughs> he didn't, the pasta was rolling about on the floor know, with people's dirty socks. Kind of under that. the fridge and that. When bits went under the fridge. I can't uh, remember the fella's name now, but if, if, you're, if you're watching, I swear to God, I, had no, I didn't drop it, but I, had, I did take part in putting it back in there. Right? <laughs> You know Wait, what you don't know don't hurt you, innit? You know what I'm saying? You enjoyed the meal, so that's the main thing. Yeah, do you know what? How long was Jim all these for a little while, wasn't yeah, we? Yeah, I think we was like, what, we was there for at least, what, two years? Yeah. You know what well, and then we went house block five, didn't we? Yeah, then Child. we were over there. That was, that was all single cells as well, wasn't it? Yeah, that so was. That's when we had dad, my dad yeah. on the wing. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got tell. Dimming out. But you know what? Like Who was it? Leo, Sibs, yeah. Victor, Vic, Ed, Ed, yeah. Oh, Bill. Yeah, come on, man. Bill with his mackerel uh, curries. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, the mackerel. Hey, Bill, I'll be honest, the uh, mackerel curries flips. were horrible. All of them. Hey, you get me? All of the man in that. Yeah, yeah I, no, I think I think I think we got a uh, we got a picture together on the yard, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. still got that. I'm gonna throw yeah. that in here somewhere. Yeah, That's yeah, a good yeah, picture. Yeah. I think you got something wrong with your elbow or something. Remember, I had, the, I had um, tendonitis. Yeah. Tennis elbow at the time, because you lot kept trying to do heavy weights. Yeah. Well, you, I take part in your circuit, so you got to take part in doing heavyweights. No, I hear that. It was I only fair. That. I hear that. But I think um, that was kind of a changing moment in my life because obviously, especially being around Sibs and everybody, mm. it's like encouraging me like, well, you know, I should, should do this fighting thing. Because you've been talking about it for years. Like I've known you like yeah. 10 years, 12 yeah. years maybe now. Yeah. And since I've known you, you've been talking about you want to do this and that. And you've yeah. actually come through with it, yeah, which I'm mad proud mad yeah. proud of you. I keep, I've not oh. been to a fight yet because yeah, yeah, I've been yeah, so yeah. busy myself. But I've been watching from afar. No, of course. Come on, man. But, and Sibs, we have to go and support. We have to yeah. go to the next one, man. Yeah, Seriously. On, man. But yeah, like that's when I, I, I think I switched up the training. And then we went cold in me. I oh, remember, remember, Sibs went first. Yeah, I was. I'll be honest. I was mad sad. Yeah, Sibs has gone coldly, and he's left me on because I was on A side on. Yeah, on yeah, 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 yeah. Like, that's right. Oh my, he's like my best friend on the wing. <laughs> I've got no one else to talk to. I had Victor next door, but um, Sibs went. I thought, oh shit, man, I want to go coldly. And then a week later, they come and got me. Yeah. And then a week yeah, after that, yeah, you come. Yeah, I was yeah. like, no way, <laughs> this this happened. It just worked out perfectly for everyone. And I thought I was sorted because you lot weren't coming and flipping, terrorizing my soul no more. You know no, saying? it's Sibs. Remember, yeah, Sibs yeah. used to hide sweets under bro, our pillows. Ah, oh, he's moving around all, all my, bro. my OCD was kicking in. I, I come uh, here, bro. Hey, Sibs was really angry with me one time. Yeah, um, I've gone into his cell. He's had an open milk, but I put a sleeping tablet in his milk. I remember, I remember, Do you remember, I remember. He comes to work. It's like you know, I'm not being funny, but I'm a bit <laughs> tired, tired, you know. <laughs> and Keith sent him back. I didn't tell him to later on because he looked really angry. I thought, you know what? I'm going to he's in a bit of mood oh. and tell him. Oh, what about the, 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 the um? We put the deep heat in. Was it Keith? In Keith. <laughs> oh, Keith's probably watching this. You know, I've not seen him yet. He's probably watching this. And when, but when? Who is it? Jay he tied Mr. Lang's yeah. trainers around the thing really tight. <laughs> hey, shout out Jay as well, yeah, man. Shout out Jay. He's yeah. a Jay Lawler, isn't it? Yeah, Lawler. Oh, he was an absolute yeah. nutter. So funny, yeah. man. Yeah. Always, always calling us out for competitions and that. Yeah. You know? I remember we had a, um. He wanted to do a gym competition, yeah, like squats, deadlift, yeah, and bench. But yeah. he had a good squat, to be honest. Yeah, 100. Now I was only up to a 180 yeah. kilo yeah. squat at the time. I remember competition day, I've squatted, the whole of my pants are ripped. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, do you know what? It's not my day today. I just left it there. I weren't on it. Yeah. Man. Yeah. And then we ended up obviously coding Lee and then bucking them all again in um, Stamford Hill. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of when I made the, the decision that I need to 
switch things up because obviously my missus was bringing my son up on obviously you know what big her up you know because yeah, like, i used to solid. see her out there every week and hide yeah. out and that so honestly like she's solid still definitely yeah and um so she's coming out every every week whatever bring my son and i was like yeah this is nicked obviously mm. this is that was the norm for for me growing up visits and mm. prisons and whatever so my mindset towards it being a bit older it was like it was almost like it was part of life like i always knew i manifested that i was going to go to jail yeah so being in jail was just like all right cool like this is we just crack on yeah but obviously seeing my son my missus that that's not their life isn't it you know what i'm saying so um yeah man that's when i thought you know i need to i need to do something different and then i remember when we was in coldenly them coming remember jim will leave in coldenly Oh yeah, it is Jim yeah. Woodley as well. Yeah. I was pissed they didn't yeah, offer yeah. it to me. Like, when I see you and <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. no man. <laughs> but I had coldly patterned, didn't it? Yeah, so you had it patterned, yeah, bro, man, patterned, to be honest. So, um, I'll be honest, I was well jealous. <laughs> <laughs> see, when I used to come to the gym and I see you in your gym all these I was like, yeah, fuck real, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting bare gym and that. Yeah. But do you know what? We had enough gym anyway, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, 100%, 100%. Like, like, it was calm still, but it was just good to be able to navigate with things. And um, Do you know why else I was so angry? Because you was in the gym, you was gym all the year. Do you know where they had me? I was fixing washing machines. I remember you was in whites, isn't it? Or yeah, I was, in, I was in something fixing washing machines, yeah. like making sure like they're spinning. Yeah. And, do you know what I used to do? I used to put water down the plug sockets because <laughs> if the electric goes, no one go, has to go yeah, work. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. So I'd done it on two occasions. I put the water down and blew all the electric so I didn't have to go back the following morning. Yeah. Yeah. Cold and, uh, cold and was not you know. Yeah, when, it you, was. when you think about it, was, it was she not... there when that yeah, fella yeah, yeah, died? Yeah, 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 yeah Was that on your wing? Um, no, it was on no, my was wing, a, wasn't it? No, it was on the way. It, on B on, wing, on Jumma, isn't it? Like, the yeah. Yeah, 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 I think the fella lived on my wing, but it happened yeah, yeah, outside yeah, Jumma, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, so so. So did yeah. he? Did he die? He died, yeah, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, yeah, th I think the fellow he actually got nicked for someone. Well, someone got nicked for it, but I think he got not guilty. Yeah, it was a techie one still. It was a bit of a mad one, like um, don't go into crazy details, but I think there's a bit of bullying going on and. Yeah, it's just it's a bit of a mad one forth. still because obviously, I kind of know both yeah both parties, but and re re rest in peace as well, yeah, man. man. And, um, send my love to the family. Yeah, condolences to to Sosa's family and that. Um, but yeah, Coldenly was nuts. Um, we used to have crazy parties, you know. Yeah, I remember. I remember you used to come out in the yard in your sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I, I used to. Have, yeah. I remember we used to have. Vodka was coming in weekly. I'm not talking oh, yeah, the, the distilled. It's proper no. Ciroc vodka yeah. coming through. Yeah, I used to like whatever. Remember, like, yeah, there's nothing that we didn't have in it. Nothing, like, yeah. That put it that way, yeah. Obviously, I ain't trying to glorify or glamorize prison. Prison is a waste of time. Thank you. Yeah. I let me just make that clear. Like, as as much as we had fun, there was mad yeah. down days. Don't get it wrong. So. Yeah. There was like, much more down days than, than you know what I'm saying, but at the same time, seeing life, if, you have to, if your mindset is is right, um, you've got to try and make the best out of bad situations. The amount of times that we used to kick it and, you know what I'm saying, we used to be like, we be, I, think, I think it's fair to say we've always been quite open about yeah. how we was feeling at times, isn't it? Like that if helps. We, if we, that actually helps. You know what I'm saying? When, yeah. when the pressure was kicking in. We speak to each other. I think we had a good social circle, and till now we still do. Like everyone's kept in still, touch yeah. and look out for each other and encourage each other to be better. But yeah, man, there were definitely down, like some proper down days. Um, so I let that be known. Like, you get me? How did how did you get through them them sort of days? You know, when you're just feeling low, missing the kids, missing the missus. Do you know what? Yeah, I think my thing has always been training, isn't it? So, and I internalize a lot of stuff. So for me, that routine or just getting up and just training. So the second I start feeling, it just takes my mind away, and it just yeah. my, my escapism. Um, and I think that's probably why I trained and trained so hard as well, because that's just my my coping mechanism with a lot of stuff in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Um, obviously, I used to do my 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 five and six a.m. circuits from there. Like I had I had a plan in my mind from when we were sitting down. So I was like. If I'm gonna do this fighting thing, mm -hmm. I gotta catch up. I was like, I was what, 27, 28, sitting down, thinking, if I'm gonna do this, I need to do this properly, innit? 
But my main thing was always like, I need to bring something to the table. So my thing was fitness. Yeah. So I was like, right, no one, like I knew my mindset, thinking no one, no one's gonna work as hard as me. Like no one's gonna outwork me. I wanna be on it. And then accordingly, I remember one day they come and there's like, oh, there's gonna be a seminar. Um, can you help set up or whatever? So I was like, yeah, cool. Um, and then my coach and, and my, um, my brother in arms now. Um, Is that the kind of big fellow I see Kieran. in your pictures? Yeah, yeah. So Kieran, so the, so they both came in. Um, and obviously Kieran, I know Kieran from the ends. Um, and then my coach is like, they, they, he's talking about his journey and their journey. And I'm saying, wow, I didn't even know that that K fought. I didn't even, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? that like, I used to do like um, promotes like parties and stuff like yeah. that with, with my power, with my power's brother and that. That's all. I, Kind of like, like I say, like we knew, knew of him and whatever, but I didn't know, you get me? And yeah. the thing is, <laughs> it's mad because you look at him and I'm like, oh, this fat guy, whatever, like, respectfully. Mm. <laughs> he knows his stuff. Bro, like, yeah, he, this, this big guy, this fat guy, whatever you want to, like, yeah. yeah, you kick in your face. Like, quick. I, I, I see, I see, I see like loads of pictures and little yeah. videos with you too. You can see that you've got, yeah. a, look, you've got a, bond, a strong yeah, bond yeah, there. Yeah, no, man. 100%, 100%. And um, I remember I was speaking to my, well, obviously they'd done the seminar, speaking, and I was like, oh, I'm going to come, I'm going to come pull up and check out the gym. And he was just like, yeah, all right, cool. I had my, my coach, now Master Sam. And um, I'm thinking, why you think that I'm talking rubbish? And these times, Sibs, everyone's been on to me, like, oh, I do this fine. Remember, we used to do pads and that. In the, yeah, yeah. You get me? And um, obviously, Kim. Obviously, free Kim. Um, oh, is he still in? Yeah. Shout uh, out Kim, man. Yeah, shout out Kim. Um, but yeah, all them lot, like, they've been encouraging, man. And obviously, anybody that knows Kim, you know he's one of the originals yeah. to do this he's MMA old thing, school, this, this fighting thing. He's one of the originals, in it? So, um, yeah, man. And even before that, you know what? I have to shout out uh, um, even... Like Adam Hart, like there was, there, listen, like there are people that always encouraged and was just like planting the seeds yeah. of time. But I just didn't have that, like, that switch to be like, actually, I can do it. I always did, kind of doubted myself until that time. When we was in from high down, I was just like, I need to do something different. Everybody that was in my peer group growing up and that, everyone's doing well, the, the ones that are rapping. This one's doing music, this one's doing that. Everyone had a plan and everyone was just sticking to their plans and things were starting to come to yeah. like to work out. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking, well, in my head I was like kind of thinking, well, maybe I can just touch the road, I can lick it, I can get up. Yeah. And then I was thinking, well, this is the rat race again. You know what I'm saying? So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do this fighting thing. So well, consistency, innit? You gotta be consistent with it. hundred percent. Like I always say, like, see discipline and consistency will get you further than motivation. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. that's the key. The key to excellence is, is discipline and consistency. Yeah. Because no matter what, you might wake up today and think, ah, oh, do you know what? Sure, I can't be. You're not motivated to do nothing. But could you have your discipline and you know that you've got to be consistent, yeah. you get up and get it done. The same as somebody, I don't know, works in Tesco's. Not every day they don't want to go to work. But they still but do they want to get up and go to work, yeah. isn't it? You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, and then, yeah, bro, come home, I think, I think in Stamford Hill, they just bust my door and said, right, you got, you, obviously, like, my recall in probation, just, they put through immediate release, and then, so, yeah, so I was sitting on recall for three years, and then they bust my door, yo, so you're going home. home, and then I literally, I think, I was home, put me in a hostel, they tried, they were trying to put me in a hostel, come out of the hostel, didn't make no sense, whatever. And then I was there for two weeks. So I come home the end of January. The, f the first week of February, I think it was, I got come out of the hostel. I literally went from there straight to the gym. Said, boom, mm. listen, like, um, like I dedicate my life to this. And then, yeah, I just been like, I just been flipping, grafting. Grafting. Bro. Grafting. So, so as, as a fighter, do you have like a diet what you stick to like yeah so obviously you know from like 014 i start eating meat um stopped eating meat yeah lava remember <laughs> <laughs> pause. 014, you stopped eating pause meat. mental pause crazy 
cool. Um, so that's the last yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was review, isn't it? Um, <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, hot plate, man. It was, it was just crazy, man. It was crazy. So, like, obviously, just before getting recalled, I kind of cut down on processed foods. And then I remember being on the hot plate and then remember we used to get the chicken and put it underneath. It, was, it wasn't oh, a good look, was it? Really? It was crazy. It was crazy. I remember one time they fussed in the, the container and I was like, I said the flu. I said the flu and that, yeah, I was like. Oh yeah, flu. Yeah. It used to really annoy me at football, you know. Yeah, shout out flu. Shout out flu. Yeah. All right. So what, yeah. what sort of food, while you was in prison, what food, sort of food was you eating like from morning to evening? Um, my diet was mainly, remember, uh, fish, veg, and um, I remember you used to have loads of containers of something we used to eat. Shout out, what man, was no, it? <laughs> what was it? What did you um, eat? What was them things in the containers you used to eat? Oh, the cashews. <laughs> <laughs> cashews. That was good. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. Good. The cashews. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You used to have loads of containers of different um, things, isn't it? Yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. Let's be mature. Pause, about it. man. Right, like, had, yeah, loads of containers of different types of nuts and stuff. What you used to eat. Um, Going his, his cell used to be immaculate. Every time he used to go to his cell, it was proper immaculate. Going to my cell is like a controlled mess. I knew where everything was. Bando living. It was crazy. It was but I crazy. knew where everything was, you know? Like, yeah, just, that's, that's, I, yeah, I guess that's a. I used to hate going in, in your cell because I didn't, <laughs> didn't want to touch anything and you, put it out of place. Yeah, it was proper. You used to stand at the door, innit? <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to mess things up on that room. Do you know what I mean? I like Sibs, you come in and start moving things. Like, oh, but, oh, oh Sibs was there. Oh, what's this? What's this? He starts going through your drawers and yeah. everything, doesn't he? Oh, mate. Yeah, it was crazy. So, but, yeah. so coming back to your fighting, um, Re, how many fights have you had now? So now I've had um, 13 fights, 13 pro fights. I didn't really have much of an amateur, um, much of an amateur. Obviously, I just kind of was thrown straight into the deep end. Um, I think I had two inner clubs. Yeah. And two inner clubs the same week, and I had two. No, three amateur fights. Um, two was the same day in the tournament, and then, and then one was obviously another one fighting um, in the MMA show, which was good. Um, and then the rest was like semi, like semi pro, like no shin pads. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, but pro fights. I've had um, thirteen fights now. How, how many wins, losses, draws? Um, nine, nine, nine wins. Three losses and one draw. Yeah. How, how see like with the losses, how do you take that? So I'll be honest here, yeah? so two two of the three losses that are and even the draw was suspect. Um mm. so and so two of them was abroad. So I went I went to fight um one of them I went to fight in Latvia on a big show. Um I fought their number one. This guy was like um it was crazy. There was, I felt like they was reading these accolades for like a good minute or so. Yeah. And when they said mine, they were like, yeah, real one. Yeah, real one, yeah. It was like, yeah, real one. And then there's this guy, six tires, da -da 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 -da, champion, national. Da -da -da. But yeah, like I had him up two rounds. I think we, we was winning. And then the third round, obviously a lack of experience. I, yeah. um, I burnt out. <clears throat> My coach was telling me at the time, don't worry about the center of the ring. And yeah, just move about. Just move about, you know, stay on the outside. And I said, okay, went into the fight, at center of the ring, pressure. And yeah, he caught me. Where, uh, <laughs> he got you? <laughs> yeah, he caught me. He caught me like, so I was burning out. And then I went to tip him, like a front kick. Yeah. Um, obviously, where I was kind of like fatigued, I missed the kick. And he caught me with a cross no. and a hook. And the hook landed like behind the ear on equilibrium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, anybody that's been hit, in, yeah, you know, like, there's, there's not really much. I won't, like, I won't, I won't. Did, not... you, did you get dropped? No, nah, so I, my legs standing was going, got, like, standing count Yeah, my legs thing. was going, yeah. I got a standing count. And then I came back and, uh, like, like, dealt, like, dealt with the matter after, but that was enough for them to, when you're on foreign yeah, territory, yeah, of course. Like, you can't leave no room for thingy. And then, the next time we flew to a little island um, called Reunion Island, which is in between Madagascar and Mauritius. Oh, that's mental. Yeah, it's far, bro. Like, it, was, it was crazy still. But even, even the backdrop and the build up to that fight was crazy. Like, it was just, it was just doing mad stuff on the day, to the, on the day of the weigh ins. 
it was like it took us like 20 minutes to get to the stadium mm. on a day of the fight it took us three hours so they're driving up mountains bro it was crazy so that that would take it out of you as well wouldn't it it's crazy um but even that fight got in the ring went to fight k1 and then as i got in the ring they said oh yeah it's muay thai a class which is with elbows oh shit and at that point i'd never trained with elbow like throwing yeah. elbows um and yeah it was it was just mad but obviously i'm in the ring cameras are on me and they they're saying this now so it's like oh and you know what man's mentality is like you know bitches in it so like, just excuse my friend tell me a bit my, my um yeah my, my coach was like right that's it i remember i like hey he wigged out so he's like that's it you believe i was like i was like come he's like Mm. Do you got faith? I was like, come. He like, this is what you're gonna do. He gave me like a 30 second breakdown on what to do with elbows and how to defend it. And the guy didn't like no elbows. I, I smoked him with elbows. But um, yeah, they he was their their champion. Yeah. They went the distance and then they gave gave him the decision, and it. And so then um, and then the one the last loss that I had was sick like. By far, one of my favorite fights uh, yeah. was with um, Charles Sikwa. Um I think it was the end of last year. Um, he was fighting for a European title at the time, and it was meant to be a five-round fight, and we ended up going six rounds. Um, and yeah, it was it was it was a, it was a sick fight. Yeah, took a lot from it, learned a lot. Um, but yeah, he got the decision. He got the decision at the time, but it was super close. That like, could have went either way. So that's the one L that I was kind of like, you know what? I didn't even feel like it was an, an L. Yeah. Because there's so much that I gained from it. But yeah, um, obviously everyone's on, the, like, on me to run it back. And so we we'll see, we'll see what happens in the new year. Um, and then the draw, the draw was just, was silly. Yeah. It should never have happened, didn't it? See, like, um, you, have, you, have music, you have music for like your ring entrance and that. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. have you got like a go-to tune what you use? So before... I used to have um, Alkaline Formula, which was kind of like consistently, because basically what we say is that um, my coach has got the formula, he's got the, the blueprint yeah. for, for the fights, because his he's skills that, to analyze things is honestly, it's like, it's a gift. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I've, I've never, never met someone that's as analytical as him. Um, and he's taught, taught me and he's teaching me so much in that regard. Um, cause I still use, I still use this to, I'm using it like, in yeah. day to day life as well. You know what I'm saying? But, um, so that was it. But now I kind of also go off of the mood of the camp as well. So like, and sometimes I might just hear a tune. I say, yeah, this one, this is it. This is the one, you know what I'm saying? And like my last tune, my son picked it cause I was yeah. going to make them walk out with me. And then, um, Oh, so the kids actually go to the fights with you as well. So. They, my son's been to one fight, one of the tournaments, but since I've been, since like I turned pro, it's been a bit techy because I fight quite late. Yeah. So more time to let them watch, but then I was going to let him walk out with me, not this fight, the fight before. But yeah, the opponent was, he, he, yeah, it, it was a bad experience for them because the opponent was like, I don't know, he's like using drugs and he was just a bit, Oh yeah? Yeah, it was a bit mad still. Um, and then, kind of gave them a little bit like, made them apprehensive because I brought them to the weigh-ins and all that stuff. And they usually yeah. come with me, like it's calm, like, but then because of the way he was um, acting and the way he was going on, it was like, nah. So the last one, the last fight, I said to them, look, they come to the weigh-ins because again, it's important for me to, for them to understand that, you know, this is a controlled mm. environment and this is something positive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, when they come, boom, it was all good, you know what I'm saying? And, Shout out Kev Ward, who I fought um, in, my, in my last fight. Um, you know, he's I see, respectful. I see him, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's respectful. Um, you know, he's been around, you know what I'm saying, conducted himself properly and everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to throw some little clips and that from some, some, yeah, 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 some yeah. of your fights and that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. What, what, what can we expect from you in the future and that with your, Boy, with your fighting? So I'm, I'm mad proud of you. Yeah. When I go on Instagram, make sure you follow him up on Instagram. Yeah. You want to tell him what your Instagram is? Yeah, it's. Um, at Beast Re, so B E A S T dot 
RE. Yeah, I just want to say I'm mad proud yeah, of you, what you're on, doing, boy. man. But what can we expect in the future? What's, what's, what's well, good for well 2023? Dom world domination, man. Um, you know, this is just the beginning. Um, I want to I wanna, um, do the same in Muay Thai. Yeah. Um, you know, British, European, world. I wouldn't mind some WBCs. Um, and then, you know, we need that one, that one, one championship contract, you know? Yeah. That's, that's the aim. Like, that's like the pinnacle of kickboxing and Muay Thai right now. So, so um, last little quick thing. Um, if you could say anything to like your younger self or any of the youths today who are going through like challenging things in their life, can you like give them any advice? Um, I'll say this, yeah, that just know that it's never too late. It's never too late to make a change. It's never too late to do something different, chase your dreams. Um, don't follow the crowd, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like anything you want to do, you can literally achieve it, especially in this day and age. Like knowledge is literally in our hands with the technology that we've got and stuff now. Um, but yeah, man, it's just be the change you wanna you wanna see in it. So yeah, I love that. You get me? Right, I've got a couple quick questions. Yeah, and then we're gonna crack on with a workout. Yeah, <laughs> this gone. is just like a little quick fire round. All right, yeah, cool. you've got cool. like two seconds to answer each one. Yeah, <laughs> who's better, Crypt or Conan? Oh, cold. You going Conan? Yeah. I'm not sure Krep's going to be happy about that. Would you rather have one leg or one arm? Arm. Man or boy? Man. <laughs> Lover. <laughs> Lover. <laughs> All right, um, night out with a man, then, or go hard in gym? Nasium. <laughs> Nasium. All right, um, would you rather have no nipples or no eyebrows? <laughs> nipples. Imagine that, it's just going to be plain, like... Yeah, it's like, calm, though. No I'd rather that, I'll just get tats, isn't it? Oh, tat I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, like, yeah? No, I'll just ink up, isn't it? Like, my chest would be calm. Uh, if you could choose one hair colour for the rest of your life, would it be ginger or blonde? Ginger. <laughs> It'd be a ginger nut. <laughs> right, last one. Would you rather have duck feet or pigeon feet? Can you imagine the pigeon feet, the little duck. claws? No, duck. Duck. You'd rather have duck, duck feet, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, Ria, I appreciate coming on. <laughs> oh, go crack boy. on with a workout now. Yeah, let's let's this, go, man. my boy. Let's do this. Yes, Ree, you warming up, yeah? Yeah, bro. Let's get it, man. Give it a couple minutes and we get cracking on with this circuit, bro. Solid, look at that. Alright, Ree, this is the circuit, yeah? You're gonna do seven tire flips. So each flip, you flip it once and you gotta drag it back. After that, you move on. You're gonna do the devil press. You're gonna give me seven reps on that. After that, you move on to this bench. You're gonna do seven hops on each side. And your last exercise is a kettlebell swing. And that's gonna be one set. So after that, that's one once through. You're gonna get a 30 second breather after each set. You ready? Let's go, Let's go my bro. Let's get it, man. That's the B3 right there. Make sure to follow him up on Instagram as well. How's that feeling, mate? Yeah. Are yeah, you good? Fine. Let's go. Seven devil presses. Oh, look how big your legs are, like tree trunks. <laughs> Love that. Hey, that's proper Tekka's day, you know? Love that. 
Good reps. Let's go, seven hops each side. Let's go. Yes, brother, last exercise. Kettlebell swings. You get a 30 second breather after this, mate. Love that, I'm gonna count down on the 30 for you, brother. I'll let you know. Get some water if you need as well. Hey, shout out Carney's community as well for letting me use the um, boxing gym on that as well, man. You said that one got you breathing hard, Jerry. Warming up. Warming up. Right, cool, you got, you got another 15 seconds to go anyway, mate. As soon as my shoulder's better, I'm going to be jumping on yeah, this. Come on, man. Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Let's get it. Yes, Ree. That burning, yeah? I'm pulling that away. That's right, that's cool, that's cool. <laughs> Put it back after. And listen, also, if you want to come and take part in gym bars, make sure to email me, drop me a little message. Get involved. Yeah. Get involved, let's get amongst it. Let's go, devil press. Beast. You can hear the heavy breathing now. Yeah. I know that's getting to him. Come on, my bro. Let's yeah. keep pushing. Two exercises left. Last exercise. Seven reps. Let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Love that. 30 second break, brother. Yeah. Irene, thanks for taking part in gym bars, man. Right. Is that part of the show? You get to nominate the next victim. All right. Thank you for having me. Um, uh, nominate. I don't even know if nominate. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to catch a breather first, bro. I can yeah, nominate James Wallace. James Wallace. He looks pretty fit though. Nah, he's proper. I don't know. He might be a bit nicked on the circuit. Yeah, let's get him down yeah, here, man. Peoples, man. James, Wallace, James Wallace, you've been what nominated. Let's yeah. get down here, man. Hey, Reef, thanks for taking part. Appreciate it, man. Love, bro. Read a beast. Shut up, go! Shut up, go! Shut up!